Hey everybody, Josh here with Gateway Travel. Today we're going to look at the importance of re-evaluating your travel agency, or for that matter, any business that you run. One of the best tips, and actually one of the least used, is to re-evaluate your business. It's really difficult sometimes diving in and telling yourself that, wow, my business has taken the wrong turn and I'm not doing this right anymore because it makes you look in the mirror and tell yourself that you failed and you need to take a turn or move your business or shift it over a little bit in order to make your business successful again. But as difficult as this is to do, you have to grab hold of this because those businesses who wish to grow need to reevaluate their business models. They need to reevaluate their old technology. Maybe they need to reevaluate their entire business plan in order to adapt to the growing and changing consumer. So let's dive in. What are some of the best ways to help you reevaluate the direction of your business? First, let's take a look at reevaluating your brand. Reevaluating your brand can be a difficult moment in a business because you've had this name for a long time. You've had this brand for a long time. You built this company up from the ground. And maybe you're afraid that if you change your brand, maybe you change your colors or you change your name completely, that your clients aren't gonna know who you are anymore. Maybe you're afraid that the thousands of people who've driven by your business or received your flyers or have seen your business name will forget that you are the same person if you change your brand. Perhaps your name was it. It was the best name in the industry back in the 90s or the 2000s. It was everything to you. And every client came and they said, I love your brand. I love your colors. I love your office. I love your name. But nowadays things have changed. The consumer is changing. And it's time that your new brand be introduced to reflect the direction that your company has made. And we all know that our direction changes. Our business's direction changes. It shifts from time to time to address certain things that we needed to address. And so now maybe you, you remember in the past when you started that you were a ticketing agency and all you wanted to do was sell flights or you were maybe just a cruise only agency, but now you're branching out to all inclusive resorts. And the name that you currently have just doesn't address the new focus of your business. And as I'm speaking, if you're thinking, wow, this is me, I've been really successful in the past, but now people really don't know what I do. If that's you, it might be time to rebrand yourself and give yourself a brand new, awesome direction for your business. And if you have changed your focus and you're afraid that your clients or potential clients might not remember who you are, we can solve that with a simple email. Just let your clients know that your brand has refocused into this new direction and you're really excited to talk to them about it. You can even flip it into a marketing opportunity. And for those potential clients who saw your name but who haven't jumped at the chance to use your services, forget them because your new focus is going to be so amazing. You're going to drum up a brand new section of clients that will potentially book with you. The second tip for reevaluating your business is you need to find inspiration. Now a little peek into my life and how I find inspiration is I like to attend conferences. Specifically, I like to attend travel conferences because that's the industry that we're in. I like to go and meet people and talk with people and see what they do. I like to hear from suppliers and see what they're doing. I like to look at all of the different colors and slides and interviews and it really gets my juices flowing and it helps my mind start to churn and it helps me think of new ideas and gives me a new passion for introducing new things with the company. Maybe you need to do this. Maybe you need to take a break and you need to go out, you need to take a vacation, you need to attend a conference, you need to go and have some meetings with some of your employees, your agents, or just colleagues. Maybe you need to brainstorm with them to find out what it is exactly that you want to reevaluate with your business. What are you doing that may have worked in the past or may work okay now, but you could really elevate and show people that you mean business and that you want to succeed in the industry that you're in. Trust me, there is nothing more important than keeping your business on the cutting edge because where are the people that you want to have in your business? Where are your clients that you want to bring into your business? 
they're on the cutting edge. They define the cutting edge because they decide the cycles of the market. They decide what they want and when they want it. All you have to do is put it in front of them. The third tip is specifically for our travel industry partners, but you can change it however you want to for your industry. But it's to make sure that you know what you're rebranding to. And what I mean is, make sure that you know the specific destination that you want to rebrand around. I tell this to our agents all the time. It is so important to find your niche. Find a specific supplier or a specific set of suppliers or destinations that you have interest in, that you are passionate about, that you want to sell, and then go and attend fam trips. Go listen to supplier teachings and trainings. Watch them on the internet. Read about the destinations. Make sure that you are the most intelligent person around when selling these destinations, products, or services. And stop and think for a little bit. Do you think your competition is sitting on the sidelines and just watching you? Do you think that they care about your success? Absolutely, because they care about their success and they're driving hard to catch you and pass you and take all the potential clients and bring them into their business. So what do you have to do? You have to be better. You have to make sure you are excellent in your product and service knowledge of the destination that you want to sell. And you need to make sure that your brand surrounds the destinations that you want to sell. So everybody out in the marketplace, every potential client that you meet knows exactly what you do and knows exactly what your business is about and knows what you want to sell. The fourth step is to make sure that you have the most up-to-date technology in your industry. Take some time to evaluate the use of technology in your business. Make sure that it's going to help you. Make sure that you find something that fits your style of selling. Maybe something works for our company that might not work for yours. Maybe something works for a friend or a colleague or a company A or company B that you look at and just think, man, I, I really don't want to use that, but they use it. You don't have to use what they use. You don't have to use what we use. Find something that fits your style of selling. Maybe there's something out there specific that will help you sell your niche. Use it. It's okay if you're different. In fact, it's better if you're different because your clients will see that you're different and different is better. So in conclusion, as we wrap up this video, I wanna make something clear. I want you to remember something. If there's anything in this video that you're going to remember, remember this, it's okay to change. Rebranding isn't the end of your business. It's an opportunity to reach the top of your niche. It's a brand new opportunity to reach new clients, to access new suppliers, to start selling new destinations. So don't be afraid of rebranding. It's not scary. Well, actually it is a little scary, but it's good for you, it's good for your business, and it's always good to reevaluate the direction of your company. So again, thanks for watching this video. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. If you want to have a discussion, leave a comment. We'll be sure to answer you. As always, I hope to see you next time.